Hi, I'm Shauna with the Thomas Group, your local Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. If you're thinking about purchasing or selling an investment home in Las Vegas, I'd love to help. You can find all my contact information below and I'll be at extension 9 for Shauna. A lot of people have been saying that the short-term rental market here in Las Vegas is really hot right now. Let me show you the perfect next addition for your Airbnb portfolio. We're here at Palms Place, which is adjacent to the Strip. However, it's still a quick 10-minute drive to Bellagio, which is the center of the Las Vegas Strip and an eight minute drive to Allegiant Stadium. I really like this condo hotel because it's still close to the Strip where it appeals to tourists just visiting for the weekend and also slightly off the Strip where it still feels a little cozier and homier for long-term travelers. There are a few things I would consider when looking for the perfect property to Airbnb. Oversupply. Las Vegas is a very unique market because we have about 155,000 hotel rooms as of February 2024. So what makes someone want to Airbnb instead of getting a hotel room on the Strip? You really need to differentiate yourself and I like Palms Place because of the five condo hotels zoned for short-term rentals. I feel that Palms Place is slightly off the Strip and it has a different feel than the other four, which are MGM Signature, Vidara, Trump, and Platinum. There are three ways you can list your unit for short-term rental. The first one is the in-house rental program. It's about a 50-50 split. However, it's the easiest and most passive. I would recommend this for frequent travelers to Las Vegas because you have a place to call home while you're here and ability to generate some passive income while you're not. Third-party rental programs. It's typically a 75-25 split. There's usually a transient rental fee that ranges from 250 to 500 a month. The last option is when you Airbnb it 100% yourself. It's a lot more hands-on, however, you get to collect 100% of the fee. However, you are still subject to a transient rental fee. Long-term appreciation. Something to be aware of is that condos will never get as much long-term appreciation as opposed to a single family house. Since condos, you're only owning interior space and not the land. However, the cash flow may offset the lower long-term appreciation. In order to find the right unit that will generate the maximum cash flow, I will look for the following. Strip views and balconies. They're much more in demand. They do come at a premium. However, I do think it makes your unit stand out more. Small kitchens with cookware. It's definitely more appealing for travelers that are looking to stay for a longer period of time. A unique design. In-house rental programs won't let you make any design edits. However, if you're using a third-party rental program or Airbnb it yourself, you can make some unique design choices. Leave a comment below if you're interested in learning more about short-term rentals in Las Vegas. I'm Shauna, your investor specialist. You can find all my contact information at thethomasgrouplv.com. I'll be at extension 9 and I'll see you in the next video.